I still feel numb, hollow inside from losing the love of my life. It's like my heart was ripped out of my body that night. It's an indescribable feeling. We had just decided we were going to move back to Oklahoma, our home state. And now none of our dreams of growing old together can come true. We were high school sweethearts and joined at the hip since we were 15 and 17 years old. We were married for 48 years and we're already looking forward to our 50th wedding anniversary. One of the hardest parts is never hearing his voice, hearing him say, I love you, as he did daily, or feeling his big bear hugs, or having him there to comfort me when I need it. David is no longer here for his sons, Keith and Stephen. They can never come to him again for advice to help or to help with a project. Our oldest son, Keith, just announced his engagement, and David won't be here for their wedding. David will never see his grandkids, Aiden, Carter, and Rowan, grow up, or meet his new great-grandson, due in November. I never lived alone before, so I'm really struggling with not only that, but just learning how to live learning how to handle all the day-to-day -day chores and bills, things I never had to deal with before because he took care of everything. He was my rock. I plead with your honor, and I speak for David's family and friends to keep the maximum sentence of 20 years with no chance of parole. Thank you for your consideration. Jim or Stephen? 